I know they big. I know it's China. I don't want to see. I don't want to see it. Hello again and welcome back to another one. And today we have a couple of topics to cover. As a few hours ago, Joe Biden was trending on Twitter for all the wrong reasons thanks to his recent comments on BTS that set things off which we'll explore in a bit. We also have more as Eminem is also trending right now but for Eminem it's usually for a multitude of reasons as there's always drama all over the place linked to Eminem. And a few hours ago, many on Twitter were literally triggered by the fact that Eminem was just standing and minding his business in a clip that resurfaced. He was guilty of standing and we'll get to more on this in a bit as it's quite hilarious and some are actually concerned for these people triggered by the appearance of Eminem. So we'll start with Joe Biden who's back at it again and a segment from his podcast has made the rounds where he spoke about South Korean band BTS. Check it out. I hate them BTS. Nah, you wildin' now. I've wild before. Okay. We know. I don't want no smoke. Tell me why. Do I need a reason? Yeah, come on. You should. You don't have a reason? If you don't have a reason, that's disgusting. I hate them. But there's no them. reason why? I hate them. I don't have to divulge my reason to you. I just hate them. I don't want to hear that. I don't want to see them dance moves. I don't want to see you come down from the sky in the little ele uh, uh, umbrella. I don't want to see your four, uh, your four Cody's come from the audience and then link up like Voltron to do all 98 degrees moves. I don't want to see none of I want to see it. I know they big. I know it's China. I don't want to see. I don't want to see it. I don't want to see Korea, but Korea. I don't want to see Korean sync. <laughs> you like the and then he set his sights on hip hop fans to make another point. Why y'all think? Why did see? And that's my problem with hip hop, oh, yo. And just music. Why do y'all think that because a group is big or an act is big and they're talented that you can't hate them? Everything has to be polarizing today. You either have to love or hate, and it's like being indifferent, it's not an option. Joe claims the problem is that people think they have to love popular things, so he's fine with hating them. But what happened to being indifferent? I'm no BTS fan, so by Joe's logic, now I have to hate them. And this has sparked a roasting session on platforms like Twitter, where BTS has a huge fan base, and it's not surprising. According to the IFPI, they were the top artists in the world in 2020 and 2021 back to back, and their fans started going in. That guy Joe Budden has hated on Drake, Eminem, Jay-Z, Mickey, Frank Ocean, and now he's hating on BTS, just proves that our boys are very successful. And there's even response videos that are making the rounds that include statements like, First of all, Joe Budden, they are Korean, not Chinese. You know, all Asian people don't come from the same country, sir. Second of all, what are you talking about being pressed in front of your face? These boys have worked for 10 years to get to this moment. And like your coworkers told you, they have slapped. Like Joe, I'm all for you expressing your opinion, but I'm over you hating popular things just because you don't see why it was more popular than you ever were. To this, some users have pulled up Eminem lyrics from Fall, and some have expanded. Joe Biden's general view on pop music makes it more clear why his music career didn't pan out like he envisioned it. Sometimes he can be incredibly close-minded to pop music and think everything is about what's in quotes pushed in front of us. BTS are dope. And to the user's video from TikTok, we got takes like this, the usual shaming that we also see directed at non-white folks who like Eminem, a user expands. Please somebody tell me this melanated brother is not caping for that Asian group from the McDonald's special? Then again, that edge up line is not black American, so belay my last. That classic shaming language used to foster a hive mind based solely on skin shade. And in reaction to Joe's comment, some have expanded. After this podcast, Joe went on his rant and said he's been better than BTS for the last 10 years, huh? We remember, in quotes, Roy Rage Joe. News Flash M. I've been better than you this entire decade. I'll have to ask my accountant about that. <laughs> Moving on to the next topic today, for some reason, Twitter went off at Eminem for just standing and minding his business when this post took off and quotes, Lady Gaga was so iconic for this. Can you hold this one second? I love you guys. You're the best fans in the whole world and I love you. And it's for God and for the gays. And the hate train picked up speed, all because Eminem was just standing, and they started making up stories out of thin air in celebration. 
Eminem began flopping right after as he should. Fact is, right after, Eminem was the 2010's top male artist for album and song sales even over Drake in his peak. And Gaga was nowhere to be found in the top 10, and this one got responses like, Do you mean Lady Gaga? Eminem, without even trying, outsold Flop Gaga without hesitation, laughing emojis, and more made up stories out of thin air. She had him annoyed, and I loved it, Queen Gaga. And it got deeper. Maybe look at his face, or the fact that he literally pushes his tongue into his cheek, which is a common gesture for calling someone. He's literally pissed and honestly it's embarrassing. Some of his music may be great, but he's always been a whiny little bee. The only thing clear in this tweet is the pent up anger at Eminem, and upon reading these takes some are confused, not these fake scenarios, please he's just standing there skull emoji, and some users are actually concerned about the mental health of these people. This is so embarrassing for these people who commented those stupid things, worried about their mental health, seriously, like a whole viral conversation because Eminem was just standing in a video? Wow. And others are also asking in reaction to the post that started the fire. Iconic for what? Eminem always looks like this, y'all saying anything. And some have concluded, Every day, this app reminds me why Eminem doesn't socialize or do anything fun within the industry anymore. I don't blame him, I'd stay home too. Over to you guys, share your thoughts below, like and subscribe if you found this interesting, and see you on the next one.